Ngoma Ichi Ndemuriro Wayo when it comes to demos and protests in Zimbabwe, and the last few weeks were no different. The question now remains, is the banning of demos in Zimbabwe constitutional or lawful? According to Section 59 of the Constitution, everyone has the right to demonstrate and petition peacefully, keyword peacefully, and follow a specific procedure according to Public Order and Safety Act Section 24. Now a closer look at the procedure. Firstly, the organizer must notify the authorities at least four days in advance to allow the authorities to assess the situation and prepare for any public disorder. Kanawapeza kuongorora, they give the organizer time and duration for the protest. People taking part are only allowed to enter public spaces specified in the direction of the march, and police also take precautions to avoid any disturbances. Once approved, a public announcement is then made to both parties. The police did not indicate to us that they had problems with our application. In fact, they cooperated with our team that was organizing until last night when they invited our team to advise that they had a prohibition order, which in itself is unconstitutional. Of course we know what happened on the day. Media was awash with pictures and videos of the unfolding events. Citizens came out and carried out their civic duty, and the police also came out. Despite it being a generally peaceful demo, a few protesters sat and barricaded the intersection of Jason Moyo and 2nd Street, which is against the law. According to Part 8 of Section 25, the police officer may order the people to disperse if they divert from the prescribed route. And so based on this, the police had to intervene. The intervention, however, ended up violent, with some of the protesters suffering injuries. An eventful week it was, with the Blueweo protest being banned just a day before, the only difference being that the community petitioned for it to be cancelled. Demos in Mutare, Gueru and Mashingo were also cancelled because the police said they were understaffed and wouldn't be able to provide security for the 10,000 expected participants. It's really been a drama-packed week. Has anything really changed in terms of freedom to demonstrate? And is this the new dispensation? And what has happened to the democratic process in Zimbabwe? Remember that the same poster that was running the Ministry of Justice in 2002 is pretty much running the entire country. Or is it? Let us know what you think about POSA and its effects on demonstrations in Zimbabwe below. Deba.